went to a neighborhood barbecue not too long ago and saw this little girl running around and the mom allowed me to take pictures and doesn't care if I share this case. But anyway, the story was she was born with these white patches like this and somebody had told them that they had vitiligo. But, you know, it's it's what's called piebaldism. And piebald is kind of an, an older word. You know, the pie part comes from a magpie, like a black and white bird. And then the, the bald part of piebaldism doesn't mean bald like me. It's a kind of an obsolete term. It means streaked white, which is why we call it a bald eagle bald, even though it has feathers up there and has a white head. Um, piebaldism is a failure of the melanocytes, which make your pigment to actually migrate to the tissue that they should be in. And it doesn't worsen over time. The kids are born with these white patches. Typically, they, they appear to be on the midline somewhere. Sometimes they can be like on the hair and you get like a white forelock. Um, whereas like vitiligo tends to worsen over time because it's your body's immune system attacking your melanocytes. And then with albinism, you know, another white patch disease, you're just born with the machinery not working at all in your melanocytes. Piebaldism is a genetic uh, issue. I don't want to say disease, but it's a genetic issue. It's autosomal dominant inheritance pattern. So it tends to run in families. Europeans, especially in the Enlightenment period, were just absolutely fascinated with the concept or what they believed the concept of race was. And a lot of these kids and people that had piebaldism, albinism, vitiligo, just completely just shattered all the their concepts of race at the time. A real famous picture of piebaldism is Mary Sabina, who was born in 1736. She was born in Cartagena in South America to on a Jesuit plantation. And she just absolutely befuddled explanations to what, what could have happened. Uh, she was the parent, or excuse me, she was the offspring of two African slaves, but people just, just didn't understand the way melanocytes worked back then and were convinced that the mother had been unfaithful and, and had had relations with, with one of the slave masters. Not to say that couldn't have happened, but that's not how you know Mary came into, the, into this world. Another explanation, which just sounds equally as laughable now, is that Mary's mother had a little spotted dog that was spotted white and black and she kept it in her lap and, and the baby came out black and white. Many people with piebaldism, especially people of African descent, were exhibited in you know so-called freak shows back in the day in the 1800s, early 1900s. And although most of them were exploited, some of them made a decent living doing it. But uh, you know, by and large, they're pretty much exploited. So there you go, piebaldism. It's rare, but it's not completely rare. You may see somebody with it at your next neighborhood barbecue.